Chicken, a trickster tale from the Andes Mountains by Barbara Knudsen. Published by Carol Rhoda Books. One day in the high in the Andes Mountains, Kai the guinea pig was climbing up and down the pass looking for something to eat. But just as he opened his mouth to take a bite of tender sweet grass, Kai saw Tio Antonio the fox coming over the rocks right in front of him and there was no time to hide. Kai thought fast. He squeezed under the edge of a great rock and pressed up his with his arms. Aha! Dinner, snarled Fox, ready to pounce. Tio Antonio, cried Kai, haven't you heard? The sky is falling. Nonsense, growled Tio Antonio, but he couldn't help looking up. It looks the same as always. That's because I'm holding it up with this rock, said Kai. I've been here all day and I need to go to the bathroom. Please, will you hold the rock for just one minute? Fox looked up again. It would be terrible if the sky fell. He crouched under the rock and pushed up with his front legs. Don't let go, warned Kai, or we will all be squashed flat. He disappeared behind some bushes and scurried off to look for more food. By sunset, Tio Antonio couldn't hold his arms up any longer. I have to let go, even if the sky falls. He ducked and let go. Nothing happened. The rock and the sky stared where they had always been. I'll get that guinea pig, barked Fox, and he bounded down the trail. Kai had just found another patch of sweet grass when he saw Fox coming. Instantly, he started digging into the side of the hill. This time I've got you, said Tio Antonio, and he grabbed Kai's leg. Amigo mio, yelled Kai. Don't you know the world is ending tonight in a rain of fire? Help me dig a safe den. I'm not going to believe you this time, declared Fox. All right, said Guinea Pig. Don't blame me when your whiskers are on fire. Fox trembled. What if this was true? He shoved Kai aside and crawled into the dugout hole. Well, then this den is for me, compadre. Go dig your own. Kai sighed. Está bien. I'll even pile some rocks in front of the door to keep you safe from sparks. When the world ends, remember I was your last friend. Tio Antonio huddled at the back of the den and waited. The end of the world. No more dancing by moonlight with the village girls. No more chicken dinners from the fa farmer's flock. But could this just be another trick? He peered through the rocks covering the entrance. Fuego! Flames crackled and smoked on the other side. What a good thing he was safe. When morning came at last, the flames were gone, and Tio Antonio pushed away the rocks to see what the end of the world looked like. The sun was shining, and the condor was soaring over the mountains and down the valley. Florinda, the farmer's daughter, was planting potatoes. In front of Fox's den lay a pile of ashes from guinea pig's fire. Kai, howled Fox. Next time I'll eat you on the spot. But Kai had a plan. I'm going where there's plenty of food and someone who always chases fox away, he decided and put on a hat and a poncho and went down the mountain to knock on the farmer's door. Buenos dias, papai, said Kai. Needed any help with the alfalfa? What a small man, thought the farmer, but I do need some help. Bueno, he said. You can start right away. All day, Kai helped Florinda weed and hoe and water the fields. But at night, he feasted on fresh alfalfa. All this food and no fox in sight. I'm going to stay here the rest of my life, he decided. By the third day, the farmer noticed something was wrong. Who is stealing all my alpha alpha, he wondered. I'd better make it look like someone is guarding the field. He shaped a little person out of clay and covered it with sticky sap from the eucalyptus tree. He propped it up in the field and went to bed. In the middle of the night, Kai crept out for a snack, but someone had gotten there before him. Buenas noches. Are you a friend of Florinda's? He said. The visitor said nothing. I said hello. Kai reached out to shake her hand. His paw stuck. Oh, so you want to hold my hand, said Kai. He patted her on the shoulder with his other paw, but that one stuck too. Caramba, let go, guinea pig said. If you don't let go, I'll kick you. But the person didn't say a word and she didn't let go. Kai kicked hard with his right foot, which stuck. And then he kicked hard with his left foot, but that stuck too. How rude, he cried. Let go or I'll hit you with my head. But when he did that, his head stuck too. 
let me go, shouted Kai so loudly that the farmer woke up and ran outside. Que tramposa, what a rascal. You're not a farm worker, you're a guinea pig, cried the farmer, and you've been eating all my alfalfa. Alpha. Well, Ferenda eats lo loves to eat roast guinea pig, and tomorrow we will eat you. <gasps> Did you know that they eat guinea pig in Peru? He pulled Kai free from the sticky gum doll, then he tied him to the eucalyptus tree and went back to bed. It can't get any worse than this, thought Kai, but here came Tio Antonio sneaking towards the chicken coop. Well, well, said the fox. I was looking for chicken dinner, but here is my appetizer. He came closer, the moonlit glinting on his sharp teeth. Why are you tied up? Guinea pig gulped. Everyone wanted to eat him. Oh, Tio Antonio, he gasped, thinking fast. It's all because of love and roast chicken. Fox perked up his ears. Those are my favorite subjects. Kai put his paw over his heart. You know the farmer's daughter, Florinda? She wants to marry me, but the trouble is she eats chicken every single day. Can you imagine? Fox imagined it. But I am a vegetarian, declared Kai. They've tied me up until I promise to marry Florinda and eat big plates of roast chicken every day. What am I going to do? Pobrecito, said, I didn't say that right. Pobre, pobrecito, said Tio Antonio, licking his lips. I hate to see you suffer. It will be a hard life for me, but just to help you, I will take your place. Really? said Kai. You're very kind. So Fox untied Kai, and then Kai tied Antonio to the tree and slipped back into the Alpha Alpha field for one last feast. The next morning, the farmer came out to untie his dinner. To his surprise, he found a fox. What now? Another disguise? The farmer picked up a stick. Oh no, Papai, don't hit me, said Antonio. I promise to eat one of your chickens every day of the year. Como? cried the farmer. Of course, Papai, Tio Antonio added quickly. I also plan to marry your daughter. Como? spat the farmer, and he raised a stick over his head. As fast as he could, Tio Antonio explained what Kai had said. You believe a story like that? How foolish. The farmer laughed until the tears ran down his cheeks. Que ridiculo. While the farmer laughed, Fox bit clean through the rope and scrambled over the field wall. Kai! He howled as he ran. You will never trick me again. And to make sure that was true, he stayed away from Kai for a long, long time. So this is Kai, the little um, guinea pig, and he's eating alfalfa. Alpha. Now, we're in Peru in this book, and um, he is hiding from the fox, he's hiding from the farmer, and he's trying to eat all the alfalfa. Alpha. But farmers in Peru will also um, eat guinea pig, just like we eat chicken and cow. Well, some of you don't, and that's okay. But in Peru, they eat the guinea pig, so they see that as a way of food. So they'll even raise them. So they'll have a lot of them at once in order to cook them later, just like we keep chickens and um, sometimes fish and other things. Mm -hmm.